Hey, 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 and welcome back to Strange Mind 6. I'm your host, Ruby, and today we're going to be getting back into The Octonumi by Trevor Allen Forrest. But first, I would like to ask if you can hit that like button if you haven't already, and please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And before we begin, please grab a snack and drink, or sit back and relax, and let's get to it, shall we? What the... The figure, launching itself from the corner of the padded room, covers the distance between them at an alarming rate, smothering Reg's face and enveloping his head. Fingernails dig deep into his scalp, and the grip on his hair tightens as he scrambles to free himself. Springing into action, an orderly attempts to grab the assailant, instantly throwing back, instantly thrown back into the room, hitting the padded wall. He slides to an unconscious slump on the floor, turning blindly. Reg can be heard mumbling as he tries to free himself from the vice-like grip around his torso and head. Stumbling, they both hit the floor heavily. Reg, rolling onto his back as the figure jumps up and looms over him. Hand splayed, an energy force pins Reg to the floor, unable to catch his breath. Reg desperately holds out his hand in an attempt to deflect, while signaling frantically to his brother for help. Trad, more than a little unimpressed by his brother's performance, pauses as he takes in the spectacle, the spectacle before him. What is it? He asks as VB gives a glow, disappointed shake of her head from Trad's shoulder. With you and women leaning against the door jam, ignoring Reg's desperate requests for assistance, he addresses his brother's attacker. So Gracie, I see you've learned some new skills. Beep beeps. New skills, Vivi repeats. Focuses the mind, she replies, holding her position. Solitary confinement. You, Reg splutters, you nearly killed me. You have no idea, she says flatly. Stepping over his brother, Trad ambles into the room while VB turns and silently belly laughs at Reg. Do you know? I think you could be right. He agrees, glancing back at his disheveled twin. She could have actually killed you. Well, temporarily disabled you. Us. VB killed you, VB says, with some relish. As Trad walks around the small, squidgy cell, I like what you've done with the place, he says, eyeing the ripped fabric and scorched stuffing hanging from the ceiling and walls. I thought you were in a straitjacket, Reg gasps still trying to catch his breath as he eyes Grace, the asylum regulation t-shirt and trousers ripped and shredded about her frame. I was. Trad raises the charred remains of the said jacket with his forefinger. Oh. So you did all this. He scans the demolished room. 
Just with your mind? Yes. Huh? He and Vivi shared an impressed nod. Discarding the jacket, he says. I didn't know you had it in you. Nor did I, she states. Okay, so... Trad moves next to Grace, whose stance has not changed. Much as I am enjoying my brother's predicament, Vivi grins widely. You do know that he does have the upper hand and quite literally in a blink of an eye can overpower you. Vivi's grin changes quickly to a frown. I know, she says, unmoving. Good. And you are proving what, exactly? Chad asks, gesturing the pair. That I am willing to stand my ground against all odds. Yes, no matter how long it takes. That's right. So, not in a hurry to get out of here, then. What? Distracted for a split second, she is flipped onto the floor, unable to move. Vibi... Vibo... Uh-oh. Vibi cries, retreating to the safety of Trad's top pocket. Thanks for nothing, Reg snips, as he gets up, brushing his coat and retrieving his hat. You looked like you had things under control, Trad grins, as Red shoots him a look and a silent growl to Vivi. You did right. I mean, you were in control, right? Trad looks at Grace and back at Reg, who gives a slight shake of his head. Taking a moment, Trad glances at Vivi, now back on to his shoulder then collapses into peals of laughter with Vibi following suit. You, he splutters. You mean she really had you? Overcome with laughter, leaning against the wall, he holds his ribs, laughing so hard, Vibi slips from his shoulder and bobs uncontrollably around the room while holding her belly. Oh my, oh, that's funny, Trad says, catching his breath, then making eye contact with Vivi, loses control again. Yeah, yeah, hilarious, Reg flicks wall stuffing from his hat before placing it back on his head, wiping tears from his eyes. Trad high fives Vivi as they both struggle to contain their laughter. So, he says, pausing for effect before continuing in inexperienced amateur hey grace shouts trying to free herself from reg's energy bind no offense trad offers takes you down by surprise i might add one of the octonumi's top talents he shakes his head Wait till mom hears about this, eh, Vivi? Wait till she hears about me being locked up in here against my will in solitary confinement, Grace sputters. Wait till she hears about that. Hey, Trad cuts in. You know I was against that, right? You know it wasn't my idea. I know, she nods. But you, she glares at Reg was protecting you. Was what now? Grace asks, astonished at the comment, while VB leaps across to her shoulder, where she stands defiantly glaring at Reg. You told us you were in danger, he replies, unfazed, still removing bits from his clothes. I told you people were going missing, she snaps. Vivi nods furiously in agreement. People who displayed heightened awareness, strength, mind mobility, he says, watching as she continues to try and free herself. Exactly. People like you, 
he cuts in. Yes, but... Oh. She stops struggling as his meaning dawns on both Vivi and Grace. You're welcome, he says. So you knew I could do this. She glances around the room. Tear a padded cell apart with your mind? No, he smiles. But I knew you were more advanced than you were aware of, and it seems I was right. Yeah, she snorts. Very clever of you. It still doesn't excuse the solitary confinement. VB, VB. No, it does not. VB adds, wagging a finger in his direction. As I see it, Reg flicks images into the air, replaying Grace's daily rampages through the corridors, hurling chairs and tables in her wake, slamming anyone and anything out of her way. You put yourself here. Vivi turns to Grace, her jaw dropping in disbelief and slowly edges away. He snaps the image back. I just put you somewhere safe. Really? She asks defiantly. How do you figure that? Did you manage to get out? He asks, shaking her head in reply. Ergo, no one could get in. Okay, you win. Could you have told me, though? She mutters in defeat. Ditto, Trad adds, astounded at this information. Well, the good news is you're free. Reg smiles. Really? Grace tries to raise her arms. VB, really? BB repeats. Oh yes. Sorry. As her arms spring free, she slaps away Trad's offer to help her up, instead taking Trad. She slaps away Reg's offer to help her up, instead taking Trad's hand. So, why the visit? She asks, adjusting her tattered clothing. Feeling guilty about incarcerating me? No. The inmates have been complaining about your violent behavior. May I? Reg steps forward to lightly tap her shoulder, morphing what remained of the institution clothing to that of an Octonumi operative. Shall we? He turns and leaves the room. They what? Grace exclaims not really taking in the transformation hurriedly following him. Vivi, startled at the sudden movement, hovers behind Grace as she gasps, complaining about me. Then she gestures. This is a high security men's institution and they are complaining about me? Have you met the guy who thinks he is Hannibal Lecter? And that's the end of this chapter, my dear friends. And I know it's short, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. And definitely tune in next time to see what's going to happen. I guess Grace is now recruited into the Octonumi. So let's see what happens and let's see how she uses her powers. And until then... This is Ruby, signing off.